All right, so I just put the motherboard in and I reapplied the thermal paste because I realized I did a crappy job. <laughs> so now I have the motherboard in with the cooler and I rearranged the fans. Took that top fan and put it down here, though maybe a better place to put it was um, up here instead of down here. I don't know, I'm just thinking about like this middle area, airflow wise. But yeah, air should go through like that and air should come through like this. Hopefully, and then we gotta put in the GPU, but looks good so far. All right, so cable ties there. I should neaten things up a bit. So now I have the PC in uh, my brother's cramped little desk, just to see if it posts, and it does. Look at that. We've got the um, 1600X and 8 gigs of RAM at the advertised speed, I hope. That's great. You know, I wonder if the, the uh, single stick of RAM I have can go to 266 with, uh, without fuss. Let's see if I can just save and change. I've never used an ASRock motherboard before. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Guess not. Oh well. Time to fix that. Alright, so I just cleared the CMOS and um, it's back uh, to 2400. Um, I'm probably gonna have to mess with the timings if I wanna push uh, those gigahertzes uh, or the DRAM frequency. But uh, things should be fine. Yeah, it's uh, one heck of a nice build. Really cool, cool uh, black and white color scheme. I like it so that it's understated. My brother likes to, has rainbow peripherals, so I don't know how that'll go, but whatever. Nice system. Alright, I've got Manjaro installed on the system. I've got CSGO and a few benchmarks as well. I'll give you the benchmarks results um, after. I'll be playing a bit of CSGO while recording. You can see my uh, recording settings there. Also, since I'm so good at CSGO, I'm pretty much a global elite, even though I'm a Gold Nova 2, I'm gonna be playing with this wireless mouse, because if I played with a real mouse, these guys would get wrecked. Here are the settings I'm using for CSGO. Forgive my lack of skill, I haven't played in like, four months. Oh wait, I have lots of skill, that's why I'm playing with a wireless mouse. Because I'm that confident.
my brother playing some TF2. This is his most played game by far at like something like 2,000 hours, I think. No, no. Sorry, not 2,000. 1,000? 1,170. Yeah. Frame rate, uh, keeping it very good. What do we have for me? If it'll focus. Yep, and that's on pretty much all high settings. Um, everything turned on, MS, um, AA, 2X, anti-aliasing. Here you can see his Keep Calm and Eat a Sandwich poster thing in the back that he made. Looks like it was made by a two-year-old. <laughs> yeah. He mains the heavy, he does not main um, whatever that class is with the sniper rifle. Probably called the sniper, right? No, it's called spy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I play TF2, I know. Yeah, system is uh, is going pretty good. What? How, uh, how? CPU temps, always around 40 degrees C. And um, GPU temps oh, okay. are around, what, 54, 58? So not too bad. Alright, so I just finished benchmarking the system. Uh, you can see the specs here. And I have all my test results on open benchmarking. So, what did I run? Um, ran Heaven. Ignore these two superposition ones. Uh, Valley 7-zip Unigen superposition on medium. Apache image magic kernel compilation PHP. Um, a lot of compression ones as well. So you can see how that stacks up. I'll also be doing the, um, the timed file encodes as well. All right, so I have my um, test track up there. Fate Zero opening, the first one. It's a 1 minute and 34 second file with video, audio, and subtitles. It's uh, encoded in H.265 originally, 1080p video, 24 frames per second. And here are the settings I'll be using for the H.265 test. So that's a uh, rate factor of 21, preset medium, and I'll have Opus at 320 bits per second stereo. And a subtitle track. This is all going into an MKV file. I'll be using pretty much all the same stuff when I'm doing the H.264 encode. Um, I'll give you guys the results. Alright, so I finished benchmarking and I have my results on this index card. We've got H.265 at 230 and H.264 at 103. So, um, I don't know. I guess it's fine. I'll, I'll provide the uh, source file in the description so that you guys can test it out. I'll also put all the handbrake settings and stuff in there. So you can go mirror to your system. That's really all. I don't have much else to say, but the machine runs quick, runs cool. Um, I mean, I'm not really sure there's much that I can ask for other than for it to run quieter. Probably gonna end up um, putting it in a different position, maybe in a position that doesn't make as much noise. It's, it's kind of noisy. We'll see the uh, exhaust there. You can hear a lot of that. Um, we're either going to have to go with quieter fans or put it in a different place if we don't want that noise, but whatever. Uh, I'll be overclocking the machine, but that's for another video. We'll see how far we can push it. Anyways, uh, that's all. Thanks for watching.